Hi everybody, Travis here from DizKingdom.com. Today I want to look at a few of the live action Beauty and the Beast movie dolls from Hasbro. On the left here we got Enchanting Ball Gown Bell. In the center, Village Dress Bell. And on the right side, Enchanting Melodies Bell. So let's take a closer look and maybe even unbox one of them. Okay, first up we have here Enchanting Ball Gown Bell. Like the three, all three Bell dolls in today's review, they are packaged in what looks like a version of the Enchanted Rose glass case. So this Bell is decorated with a very, very detailed ball gown from the Tales of Oldest Time sequence, the dance sequence. And we have a very detailed look Ed Roger, you're going to have to edit out that last part probably okay and here we have a closer look at the ball gown as you can see very detailed with the glitter and design of the ball gown now Belle is holding a fake rose fake enchanted rose but she could always be holding a real one, or a prop one if you can get one. Here we have a look at Village Dress Bell. Similar packaging to the other bells. But this one's showing the dress from the opening sequence, opening bell sequence in the village. And here we have a close-up look of Village Dress Bell. The blue and the pink dress. Now in the animated movie, Bell just really had blue, but it looks like they added some pink accents offset the character. And the last version of Bell we have here is the Enchanting Melodies Bell. Now this bell looks similar to the ball gown bell, the Enchanting Ball Gown Bell, but the dress is not as fancy. However, Bell sings a phrase from the song Something There, which is the feature of this doll. Let's check it out. So here's a closer up look of Enchanting Melody's Bell. As you can see, the dress is not as fancy as the Enchanting Ball Gown Bell. But if you press on it, on her, Right there. So yeah, so she sings that little phrase from something there. One thing I wanted to point out is that this, the enchanting ball gown bell actually has multiple points of articulation in the wrist and the elbow and the shoulder of course. Whereas other, the other ones only have uh, shoulder movement. So that's a nice little feature for this bell. So she can be in like dance poses. Okay, I took the village dress bell out of the packaging. Just so we can take a better look. Now, I am currently holding her because... One thing I did notice is that these dolls do not want to stand on their own very well. Case in point with the Village Best Dress Bell, she can't really even stand up on her own. There's no way to really support that. So you're going to have to lean her up against something if you want to display her. I mean, if you want to just give the, the doll to the little girls to play, which is the main thing of that, you know, the main reason why they would make a doll then yeah, that's great. But you would need a doll stand if you wanted to display her really well. I do like the look of this bell. And the reason I unbox this one and not the other two is I'll have a review up later this week of a Bell and Beast 2-pack with a yellow dress bell already. So I wanted to have this bell out so I can display her with the other two. Now, some people have been giving these Bell dolls a bad rap for the likeness to Emma Watson. Some even going to say that they look more like Justin Bieber. 
I'm not going to comment on that part. I do like the look of it. I know it's not exactly looking like Emma Watson, but in my opinion, they look a lot better than the Disney Store version of these dolls. I saw them this past weekend in the Disney Store in Times Square, and they look pretty bad in comparison. I would prefer these, the look of these dolls over the look of the Disney Store dolls. Overall, I really like the look of these dolls. I think they would, they're going to be very popular with little girls especially. And I think Hasbro did a, a great job with this line. And they're doing really good with the Disney Princess line in general. Their Frozen stuff is great. Their Moana stuff is spectacular. I like their Descendants line that's coming for Descendants 2. So yeah, so tomorrow and Wednesday I will have additional reviews from Hasbro Dolls for the Beauty and the Beast upcoming movie. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to our channel, and comment below what you think of the dolls, and or if you're excited about the movie. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Bye.